This is DZR in JWP, a discussion of topics about Dan Zanryu Jiu Jitsu in JWP, the Japanese word processor. I'm your host, Professor George Arrington. Uh, and my website is www.danzan.com, where you can see a lot of information about Dan Zanryu and also obtain copies of my book uh, on Japanese characters and other books on Dan Zanryu. Today's topic is about the Chuden, the board names uh, coming from the middle part of the system, or Chuden. So let's look at that right now. Chuden is written as follows. C-H-U with an elongated U sound, so it's Chuden, like so, okay? So it's Chu. Den. And let me write the kanji for that. C H U U. That means middle. And den looks like that. And that's the modern version of den. And if you recall from uh, a previous video, we, we showed that uh, the, the older version of den is what you see in, in all of the documents from Professor Okazaki. And that looks like this. I'll, I'll construct it using the radical look up here, and that starts off with that character, and it uses, or that radical, and uses that radical, and it turns out it's that character right there. Okay, so let's close that and see if I did it right. Yep, I did it right. And move that back into place. And so we have the, the, uh, the older version there, and we'll see that in some of the pictures. Now, I mentioned last, in the last video, that the system, Dan Zanryu, is broken up into four areas. The Shoden, which was the last one, uh, and today is the Chuden, and then there's also the Okuden, and the Kuden, or the, the uh, secret arts. And uh, I have a picture from 1948 of a certificate. I'm going to pull that one up here. hope that's visible. Let's, uh, let me enlarge that just a little bit for you. There we go. It's a little grainy there. Okay, so this is a, a Kaiden Sho, or Complete Transmission Certificate, given to a man named Stephen J. Bizek back in 1948, awarded him the title of, of Shihan, or Master. And it was given by Professor Okazaki, whose name you can see over here on the edge. Um, I have to move that over just a little bit. There we go. Okazaki Seishiro is right there. Okay, so... So in this uh, certificate, it mentions the four areas that uh, Dan Zanru is broken up into. The Shoden, which we saw that last time, Shoden, the beginning transmission. This video is about the Chuden. And then there's the Okuden and the Kuden, or sometimes called Koden, of, uh, of the system. And we'll look at those in a, in a future video. But today we're going to be looking at the at the board names from the from the Chu Den. Okay, so let me close that one off there and come back to it here. Okay, so the the Chu Den section was uh, broken up into the following uh, boards, and I want to qualify that and, and tell you that really the the two boards that were in the Chu Den were the Okunote and the Kiai no Maki. And that these other boards here, the Fusegi Jutsu, the Fujin Goshin no Maki, and the Keisatsu Torite no Maki, were, um, shall we call them, auxiliary boards. And, uh, and, but I'll give you the, uh, the kanji for those as well, and we'll talk a little bit about those. Okay, so let me just move this up a smidge. So let's look at now the first, the first one, Okunote. So Okunote uh, looks like this. We write oku, no, and te. And from the, the previous uh, video, you probably know what the, the no te, or the te means. And you might know what the no means, but we'll look at that right now. So oku, that character means deep or profound. Uh, we'll pull that up there. The heart or the interior. Uh, the deep place, okay? So that is that, is that or, or sometimes we say depth, okay, or deep. 
And then we say no, which is a possessive, and te, which if you remember from the last one, this means hand, literally, but it, in this context it means techniques. So this means deep techniques. And the way we, and in previous ones we said shime te or nage te, but since this is, uh, since this is not a verb, we, we say oku no te. That's the way that the, the grammar works for that one. Okay? So that is the oku no te, the deep arts. Okay? All right. The next one. Now this has it has a new word in here, which you've actually seen this in the, in the Yuara um, uh, video. And um, let's look at let's look at this one. Kiai no maki. Kiai no maki. All right. So what what is that? So that is kiai. And you see that that's written out that way. That's that says ki, which means literally means breath, or spirit, or energy. And we can we can look at the meaning of that one. Spirit or mind. It also means breath. And I meaning to come together, or joining or fitting together. Um, that means uh, that or that's pronounced I. Okay. So P I E, and we're putting the E there so that it, uh, so that we know that it's I and not one of the other pronunciations. And then we say no, which is a possessive. And then Maki is the uh, before when we looked at um, uh, Kote Maki in the UR list, that meant a winding up of. But remember that the the other definition of this is is a, a scroll or a volume or a book. Okay, so this is a scroll. You want to think of it as a scroll or a, a book of techniques. Okay, so the, the, the scroll of the ki is how it's normally called. Okay, scroll of the ki. Now one other one other little thing about about this name, ki no maki, this is this character right here is the modern character for ki. Or spirit, okay, and it is the common version of that with this particular radical. Now, in the older form, the more traditional form of the word key looks like this, and we'll go ahead and and um, and use our our radical lookup builder here, and we'll use this bushu or this radical, which is let's see how many how many strokes is that. One, two, three, four strokes. And so we'll look under four and see if we can find that one. And there it is right there. Okay. And so we see a variety of, of these kanji. They're not very many. There are only seven that use that radical. And the one which is more, more uh, traditional is this guy right here. Let's insert that into the file. And that's key. So this is the uh, this is also key, meaning spirit or mind, but now it is the uncommon one. They've uh, in Japanese language have gone to using this key versus this key. Okay. So anyway, so that's uh, that's key I no maki. And so let's go on. Now the next three boards are what we what I call the, the the auxiliary boards, and they are boards made up of other or techniques from other from other boards. So they have throwing techniques and yuara techniques and shime techniques and whatnot in them, and and they were designed for specific purposes, as we'll see here in a minute. So the fusegi jutsu is um, I'll go ahead and write fusegi jutsu. Okay. And the tsu there is, is a softened uh, tsu, so it's fusegi jutsu, like that. And fusegi looks like this. So this says fusegi, oops, this says fusegi. So when we select that one and look at that, 
that says to ward off, to defend, to protect, or to resist. Okay? So, and uh, it comes from the uh, bo or fusegu. Fusegu, so to protect, a, a verb to protect. So when we say fusegi, that makes it, uh, uh, makes it a, um, an adjective, I guess, would be the best term. And then jutsu, we've seen that before. Uh, like in jujitsu. So fusegi jutsu together means self defense techniques. And actually, I don't know if it's in the dictionary, but let's see. Nope, it's not in the dictionary. But, but that means self defense techniques. And th so this was a course that Professor Okazaki uh, made up of uh, other board techniques from the previous boards to teach a self defense course for people who didn't want to go through the whole four or five year program to get their black belt. They just want to learn self defense. So that this was their this was their shortened course. Okay? And I wrote a book a couple of years ago about Kusegi Jitsu and that's available on my website. Okay. Um, so that is Kusegi Jitsu. Now the next one Fujin, I'll write this out in, in, or in hiragana. Fujin, I may get that one wrong, but let's see. Fujin, Goshin, no Maki. Did I get that right? Okay, let's find out. Okay, Fujin. So, when we write Fujin, we get that. So I did write that one correctly. Good. Um, and what that means is, we can select that and go to the dictionary, and that means a woman, okay, a female person, okay, so a woman, person, female, so that means women. Goshin, this means means, well, this character means body. This character right here means body. Okay, somebody, a person, one station life. It also means, it means the, the, the body, physical body. And this also, like Fusegi, means to protect, to safeguard or protect. In fact, the word for lawyer um, uses this character, uh, Bengoshi. So uh, uh, that, uh, that means to protect. So this means to protect the body. So together, I think this is in the, in the dictionary, this means self-protection or self-defense. Okay? And they show here Goshin no Jutsu, uh, or Goshin Jutsu, the, uh, the art of self-defense. Okay. So together, Fujin, Goshin, means women's self-defense. The possessive particle here, no. And uh, we could have used, as I said in the last one, the, the more um, uh, traditional one of no, like that. But uh, we'll just stick with this one for now. And Maki, meaning the scroll, like we saw in in the previous one. Okay? So this is the scroll of, of women's self-defense techniques. Okay? They call it Fujin Goshin no Maki. Alright. And, and finally in this one we're going to look at the Keisatsu Torite no Maki. Alright, so Keisatsu. Keisatsu. Alrighty. Look at look at those. Those are pretty complicated characters. So let's go up here to the dictionary and see what that means, and we'll see that that means police. The keisatsu. Uh, keisatsu jin is a policeman. Okay, so keisatsu, and it has some other things about policemen. Uh, actually, they say keisatsu kan. Uh, and uh, anyway, so that is police. Police. All right, so keisatsu. And then torite, torite, okay, tori, 
and let me do this A separately. Kodite, um, you can think of it as meaning to arrest or to capture or to catch, but also this expression, Torite, go up to the dictionary, is an older term for policeman, an ancient term meaning policeman or an official in charge of imprisoning offenders, uh, martial arts, Bujitsu, but also, but uh, more more commonly the uh, the policeman. So this is this is talking about the arresting uh, of, of criminals. So kesatsu torite no maki, the scroll of the police arresting techniques is the best way to to, uh, to to say that. Okay? So that is that is the chuden. That's the chuden. Let's go back up here to the to the top. The chuden, we have the Okunote, Kyanomaki, Fusegi Jitsu, Fujin Goshin no Maki, and the Keisatsu Torite no Maki. And uh, just uh, for your interest, I have a couple of other uh, illustrations. Let me pull this one up first. And that is, this is from the from the Okazaki scroll. And this says Chuden, right here. And this says Oku, and that little squiggle there is No, Te. And this says 25 basics, uh, Niju Go Han. And, and so there's the, there's the Oku list right there. And let me close that one. And the next one I wanted to show you was this one. I'll pull that into place. And there's the end of the, the Oku list, the Jigoku Otoshi, if you can read Japanese there. But uh, this says Ki Ai no Maki. And it says Niju Shichi Hon, 27 basics. So these are the, the ki, ai, uh, ki Ai no Maki arts right in here. Okay? So that's. Uh, that's interesting, and then finally, uh, show you one other, one other uh, illustration, and this is from that same scroll, and this shows two of the two of the uh, uh, boards that I was talking about. This says Fujin, Goshin, no Maki. That's Fujin, Go Shin, no Maki, and this says uh, 35 basic. Uh, Sanjugo Han, Han. And then this one here, and if you, you can kind of compare it with that one, this says this says Keisatsu Torite. Now they don't they don't put in the ri there. I just put that in for uh, emphasis there. Torite no maki. And now this one shows one hundred and eleven arts. Okay? So that's uh, that's the police arts. So that's a look at the Chuden. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, uh, be sure to go to Danzan.com, check out my books, and uh, we'll see you next time.